Hi guys, after a couple of days and a mishap with our hotel. Oh my god, it's like a flood in here. We'll talk about it in a second. We finally made it to Darwin. It's in the middle of nowhere, so you'll probably never go see it. We are going to go to the Darwin City Center today and I'm just gonna show you guys around. Uh, first real quick, I'll show you the hotel we finally made it to. This is it. It's actually kind of cool because it has like a little kitchen. Yeah, and the hotel's really small, but the shower's weird, so. Oh, uh, yeah, no shower yeah. curtain. Oh, yeah. The hotel took us two days to get into. We showed up and they were like, oh, we screwed up your booking. They downgraded our hotel. How comfortable is that bed? Uncomfortable bed. They made us pay for our own taxis to get our bags to this other hotel, which was like a total dump. And then I got in, water sprayed all over the floor. I mean, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> How jank is that? Oh, no, the bathroom's better. Oh my god, it's like a flood in here. Oh well, yeah, because there's no shower curtain. The door hardly closes because... A little janky. It was dirty, it was gross. They haven't offered anything yet. I have to talk to them today. Karen Molden. <laughs> I know. Say it, say it. Say the magic word. Excuse me, can I talk to your manager? Yes. So, yeah, we're gonna go down to the city center and Around this is the esplanade, which is kind of like a, I don't know, what would you call it, like a beach walk? I'd call it an esplanade. But it's like this giant park that runs across the entire city. So there's nice little trails off to the side that are like jungle. The rest of Darwin's pretty dry and hot, but down here it's a little cooler and like a jungle paradise. This isn't the actual entrance, but there are World War II tunnels that you can explore. It's like, I don't know, like five bucks US. We're not gonna do it because we don't think tunnels are that interesting, but it's here. This is the Darwin waterfront. It has some cool shops and hotels and a free lagoon to swim around in. So you can't really go enjoy most of the beaches in this part of Australia because there are crocodiles and box jellyfish and you know just other stuff that'll try to kill you. So they build these free giant public things for you. So. Now Darwin's not a world like destination for a reason. It's a great launching point for a bunch of hiking and nature stuff like out in the bush which is like mountains or something in the state. The city itself is, it's a city. But it seems like most people don't want to come here anyways because it's really hot. Yeah, it is so hot here. Um, also in the lagoon area is a wave pool. I think it's seven Australian dollars. I really like that Australia builds all these like, public facilities because you can't actually enjoy the nature if it's dangerous. <laughs> Now we're going to Smith Street, which is probably the biggest street for shopping. I don't know, it's the biggest one we could find. That was literally the entire shopping strip. There's other stores around, but that's it. <laughs> We're at Doctor's Goalie. We stayed at an Airbnb in that building last time. It was really nice. This was the original drinking water supply for the city of Darwin. I think the fish come, like thousands of fish come in at high tide. You can come and feed them. I think it's kind of expensive though. Isn't it like 20 US dollars a person? Something like that to feed yeah, bread to, to fish. To feed fish, yeah. <laughs> That is Darwin in a nutshell. 
Alan was like, let's go walk in a mangrove. I remember standing out here on like our last morning last time. We came right before we flew out and I was like, wow, I'm never gonna be here again. Here we are, six months later. I don't know if we're ever leaving. All right guys, I forgot to film the end of this video, but uh, we made it back to our hotel and that was Darwin. That's what it's like without a car here.